Hey everyone, I'm Taylor with Green Our Planet and today we're going to be transplanting our vertical hydroponic towers for our farm wall system. I've got some seedlings already germinated here which if you need advice on that check out our video on seedlings. These I started about two and a half, three weeks ago. What we're looking for when we transplant seedlings is that we want to have a plant that's a couple of inches tall. We've got a good amount of roots showing through. And one thing you'll want to do before you transplant is thin out your uh, planting cubes to just one plant in there. So you'll notice here we have two basils growing in this cube. I'm going to choose the weaker one and gently just remove that from the cube. So I have one plant that will have plenty of space to grow and this is now ready to transplant into our towers. When we get ready to plant our towers, there's a few things that should have come with your system. You're gonna have the uh, white planting tower here. That's already gonna have the planting matrix media inside. Your system should have come with one of these pulling hooks. The use of this is to help you get this fabric in and out of the tower. So you'll notice it should be have a fold on one side there's going to be two inserts in here. We simply put our hook down in the fold of that insert and then use this to pull the media right out of the tower. Uh, sometimes occasionally when you get these shipped yours might be inserted as two long strips in which case you just remove those and we're going to fold them over to make two pieces that are gonna have a U-shaped fold at the bottom. Also included with your system is gonna be these white, they're like a felt wicking strip. When our plants are real young, this is gonna help make sure that the water and nutrients are getting to the root zone. Uh, if you need to replace these, you can always order more or you can use a plain white felt with no dyes or anything like that So uh, and cut your own strips. This we're going to insert to our tower and we're going to leave about an inch or so over the top of the media so that we can, once we insert the tower, we can fold that over and we'll make sure that our drip emitter is dripping our water nutrients right on that fabric. So for this tower, we're going to be planting basil. For hydroponics, you're going to want to use a similar spacing to what you would in a garden. So you'll want to reference your seed packet as far as how close to put these together. Uh, for most things we're growing in this, leafy green vegetables and herbs, uh, it's six inch spacing is pretty standard. And you can get away because the plants are gonna have all the water and nutrients they need with putting things a little closer together than recommended, but you definitely don't wanna overfill the towers. Uh, what I typically do when I uh, put my plants on this fabric is I I decide which end is going to be the top whether it's going to be the folded end or the flat piece I like to use the flat edge as the top and when we set our fabric we're going to leave uh, about an inch of space between the what's going to be the front of our tower and the back and then we're going to set these plants in here with the stem and the leaves hanging over the edge of the tower and you want to make sure your roots are in good contact with this fabric. Uh, also you'll want to leave a little space at the top and bottom so that you can insert your towers in without damaging the plant. So I'm going to go right down the line here and set my plants into the matrix media. One thing, one other thing I like to do is I give my plants, you'll notice a little bit of an angle towards what's going to be the top of the tower. This helps that as the water and nutrients are running down, they're going to be directed to stay inside the tower. If you have a plant that's planted straight or slightly down, the water can actually run down this stem and start dripping outside of your system. So it's a good idea to angle them slightly toward the top. Once we have these 
in position we're going to simply fold our fabric over to sandwich all of these plants in and then I like to just work with everything sideways I find if you uh, try and put this straight up and down when you're pulling it through the tower your plants are gonna move from where you place them so I like to keep everything laying sideways and I then line my fabric up with the tower grab my pulling hook and insert it into the folded portion there and then I slowly pull these through and just double check as I'm pulling them in that I'm not going to scrape off any stems or leaves along the edge of the plastic portion. We're going to go ahead and pull this piece all the way down to the bottom here. Oops, one kind of po popped out. Usually you'll be able to make small adjustments once they're already in the system. And then we're going to do our next tower the same exact way. We've planted this tower with basil. We uh, put our wicking strip in, left about an inch of space from the edge, positioned our plants at a slight angle toward the top of the tower. We folded the matrix media over to sandwich each of those plants in there and used our pulling hook to slide those into the tower. And now we're ready to install this into our farm wall. You'll notice that in the lower reservoir there's a PVC pipe that this tower is going to rest on and to install this we're simply going to slide in the top first, swing the bottom into place and then let it come down to rest right on that PVC pipe. You might have to squeeze the top and bottom a little bit to get them through the opening but it's as simple as that. Now your planted towers in the system, we'll be ready to turn this thing on and start getting water and nutrients to them.